Tonight, I'm going to teach you what Inkbox is all about. It's a review and tutorial of how to apply an Inkbox tattoo. Stay tuned. back to my channel. So today I had an exciting package that came in the mail. Now I did already open it and I already did some stuff with it. So um, this is the second time I've tried filming this video. Uh, so let's get it right into it. Now the company that I have um, gotten this from, I bought it from them. I'm not sponsored. I'm not affiliated with them. In any way, I do have a referral code where if you use it, you get a discount. I get ink, but in I get money for Insight to use on whatever I want. Um, the company is called Inkbox. It's a semi-permanent tattoo. I've already used one right here, my arm. It's still developing. It takes 24 to 36 hours, and it stays on for 8 to 18 days. I think it was pretty awesome. So, this is the one that I've already opened. It comes with an ink box tattoo, the instruction card, the black tattoo gloves, the alcohol wipe, and a pre moistened cloth. So, what I'm going to do is take the gloves out of this one and reuse them, and the instruction book. Because that's come, what comes with it. So that's from the one that I already used. What? Now the one that I haven't used yet <coughs> is this one. They have what? cool little sayings on the little packages and it's velcroed shut. This is temporary bad decisions. Tattoos sometimes are a, a bad decision, but in my case, I don't think they are. Now, the reason I got this was because I'm thinking about getting a permanent tattoo. And when I saw these on Inkbox, I was very happy. I'm like, that, those are the tattoos that I do want. I'm going to try them out. See how well I like them. Now, this one I've gotten myself tattooed with before, but I was um, at a summer fair and I would always get it airbrushed. And it would last a while, not very long. So, it's something that I, I've have an interest in. Now, I first saw Inkbox on Facebook and I investigated it and I found out it's a legit company. It's based in downtown Toronto and they ship internationally and domestically. So, yeah, let's let's see what we got in here. So, we have the pre-moistened cloth. Now, this you have to throw in the microwave for 10 seconds to heat it up. We have the alcohol wipe, which you use before you use the cloth. And we have, somewhere in this package, the tattoo. This one's bigger than the one that I have right now. So this is the Eye of Horus, whereas the one that I have pre that I put on previously is the yin yang symbol. So this video is about not just reviewing this product it is also a tutorial of how to put this product on. So let's start. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the little plastic package, like so. You're going to pull the tattoo out. Now this, do not touch the where the actual tattoo is or it will stain. So I'm going to put it down. I'm going to get our... Make sure that these are in, on a table and not on your lap because I made that mistake once already. We're going to take this and we are going to carefully peel off the front sticky part because we want it stuck to us, not everywhere else. Now because this tattoo does have some intricate Part. There we go, I got it off. 
And then you're going to want to stick it where you want it. Now, I've already... The, the thing is, before you apply this, that they, they recommend that you shave the area because if there's hair there, it doesn't stick. So make sure you read the instruction manual before you do this. So I want it here, and I've already pre-shaved the area, so let's put it on like so, and making sure to stick the adhesive on. Okay, now while that's on, I am going to take the cloth, rip it, the corner off, and throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds. Now microwave is right behind me because I'm actually filming in my kitchen today. So I'm throw that in, 10 seconds. And make sure this is still sticky. Now I'm lucky because I actually made sure to shave a big enough part. That's hot. Now, the reason they shave it is even if you got a permanent tattoo, they would still shave the area because hair can get into it and make it not want to stick in te this temporary case but in real for real tattoos it's to keep the area clean and make sure that nothing gets caught nothing ruins the tattoo so now that we have this on we put our gloves on because protection we don't want it to bleed on us and we take the little tab here that says peel here so you're gonna peel it right off just like that nothing fancy and we're gonna take our alcohol wipe I'm gonna open it and it says dampen it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dampen by rubbing the alcohol pad on top of it. Now, I'm not well, I'm not sure how well this is actually dampening it. Because the instructions say to dab it, not rub it, so I'm dabbing it as hard as I can. Just like that. I'm going to make sure it's evenly on. I think it's on. Now we take our hot cloth, open the package more. There we go. And we put it right on top. And we put pressure on it. In my case, this is really, really hot. burning and you apply pressure evenly for 15 minutes and it'll be on so I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes to show you guys the next step see you soon Okay, I'm back. It's been 15 minutes, though to you it's been like a second. <laughs> um, so I've kept pressure on it, I've held it, I've done all that stuff that I'm supposed to do. So now that that's over, I can actually take this off. Now, to take it off, I would recommend leaving the glove on just in case. Um, I'm gonna actually use the sticky 
thing to stick on top of the part that the cloth has to push on. So let's take the cloth off. Yes, look at all that dye on that cloth. Mmm, wonderful. Okay, now we're going to stick, or try to stick the sticky over the blue part just so it doesn't bleed on everything. Near perfect fit. Okay. So, it says to, when you do this, you have to take, pull it in the direction that your hair grows. Now my hair grows down, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it down. Now hopefully it doesn't do what it did on my arm when I did this one, it actually ripped my skin off, so we'll see, hopefully not. I'm not going to hold my breath. So let's start peeling it off. I'll stand up for this so you can see that I'm pulling it down. And as much as this hurts, the instructions are clear in saying that you must pull slowly, I guess, so that you don't rip your skin off, but pulling it slowly seems to just do that anyways. In my case, <laughs> so we're going to pull across the top here. Okay, if that's down. I can grab better grip here. And pull slowly down. Now your skin is going to be red after this because it is an adhesive that's sticking to you. Hopefully it comes off in all one piece. I'm noticing mine's not, so I'm gonna have to pull it a little bit and then just keep pulling down. Little details will get stuck. Don't worry about it, just lightly pull. Now I'm probably getting dyed because I'm actually touching the pad that the tattoo comes off of. Oh. And there we go. So, now that that's off of me, we'll stick sticky back on. This, fold it in half. and stick it in its little package that it came in so that it's all contained and won't get over anything else because we don't want it to stain anything else. Now that that's off, take the glove off. Now, I'll probably keep the cloth because they are very useful. I can just rinse, wash the dye out of them. So they are reusable. Um, don't use it for another ink box product. Use what it actually comes with. Don't you can use these just for something else. Don't use it for another tattoo. I'm serious about the warning that one. Um, so in the instructions, and I can point you to where it says this is once it is on, after you peel it, you wait five minutes for it to dry. I usually wait five or 10 minutes for it to make sure it's actually dry. And then you let it, you gently rinse it with soap and water to remove the excess ink, gently, don't rub it. And then you pat the area dry. Now they say don't rub it because you don't want to rub it off your skin, you want it to sit and it will develop over 24 to 36 hours. Um, you can watch the magic happening as it darkens. 
Um, pro tip, there's a pro tip in this book, is a hot shower may help the tattoo develop on the first night. Which I think is totally cool. I haven't had a hot shower yet tonight. Um, it's, what time is it, darling? 11.36. It's 11.36 here in Canada. Or where I'm in, uh, in Toronto, Ontario. Um, but anyways, the instruction manual also comes with an aftercare section. So I'm going to read that out for you. Um, your tattoo will develop over 24 to 36 hours while you're sleeping during the first 24 hour period. Please wear loose clothing to cover the tattoo to avoid reprinting and smudging. Which means you don't want it, if there's ink left, you don't want it to print every, anything else and you don't want to smudge your tattoo. You want it to be nice. Ow, my arm actually hurts a little bit. Um, Okay, keeping your skin well moisturized is the number way, number one way to help your tattoo last as long as possible. So once the tattoo has fully developed, that means you wait the 36 hours, you moisturize the skin daily and avoid scrubbing the area. Don't scrub it, don't rub it, don't touch it. Basically. Um, and the cool thing is that you can have a shout out so on Instagram or whatever it's hashtag inbox love and at inbox inkbox so you can share that you got it and that you like it or whatever kind of stuff um so here's my newest I don't know how well you can see it there we go so that's the Eye of Horus tattoo that I have. Yes, the skin around it is very red. That's because my skin reacts badly to adhesives. Any kind of band-aid, surgical tape, that kind of stuff, my skin does not like it whatsoever. Now, why am I doing this to myself? Well, because I want a tattoo. <laughs> so I'm willing to take that risk. Um, it's not an allergy, it's just that my skin is sensitive, so it, peeling it off does take skin off, unfortunately. So be careful with that if you have sensitive skin like I do. Um, they also recommend that if you do shave the area, if you go that route, because you even fine hair can not work as well, and it'll hurt more if you have hair <laughs> by peeling the adhesive off. So make sure that you wait at least 24 hours. Now I didn't wait 24 hours, I waited 12 to do this. Um, I'm, but I'm not worried about al allergic reactions. I don't really have allergic reactions to things um, unless it's food related, which in that case, you know. But anyways, um, that's ink box for you. And yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, Push the little bell so that you'll be notified of whenever I post a video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!